Hi folks, welcome to this iProcess webcast. Today we are talking about a UNECE WP29 Addendum R155, Cybersecurity and Cybersecurity Management Systems. So first, what is UNECE? UNECE stands for United Nations Economic Commission for Europe. It is a worldwide regulatory forum. It is composed of 56 member states, most of which are based in Europe. Three UN agreements adopted in 1958, 1997 and 1998 provide the legal framework allowing the member countries to establish regulatory instruments concerning motor vehicles and motor vehicle equipment. What is R155? R155 is a UN regulation that requires measures to be implemented as follows. Managing vehicle cyber risks, securing vehicles by design to mitigate risks along the chain, and detecting and responding to security incidents across the vehicle fleet. It contains requirements for the cybersecurity management system as well as a good amount of examples of threats and mitigations to get started. It also refers to already existing standards, namely ISO SIE 21434 and Automotive Spies for Cybersecurity. Let's have a quick look. Automotive Spies for Cybersecurity. The UNECU regulation R155 requires that the vehicle manufacturer identify and manage cybersecurity risks in the supply chain. Automotive Spies or ASPICE, is a process assessment model which helps to identify process-related product risks. Cybersecurity-related processes were added to Automotive SPICE in Q4 2021, defined in a process reference and assessment model for cybersecurity engineering, Cybersecurity PAM. ISO SIE 21434, Road Vehicle Cybersecurity Engineering, released in 2021, is applicable to serious production road vehicles, EE systems, including their components and interfaces, whose development or modification begin after the publication of the standard. Certain aspects of the 21434 are not in the scope of cybersecurity ASPIs as they are not performed in a development project context, such as cybersecurity management, continuous cybersecurity activities, and post-development phases. Timeline. The R155 regulation applies to passenger cars, vans, trucks, buses, and it entered into force in January 2021. In the European Union, the new regulation on cybersecurity will be mandatory for all new vehicle types from July 2022 and will become mandatory for all new vehicles produced from July 2024. As you can see, this is right around the corner. There is a possible exemption for type approvals between 2022 and 2024. However, the OEM has to prove that the vehicle could not comply with the cybersecurity management system, yet was designed with sufficient cybersecurity efforts. Responsibility. R155 requires the vehicle manufacturer to provide proof that cyber threats and vulnerabilities are mitigated within a reasonable time frame. Yet as it is with many other regulatory requirements as well, the OEM usually passes at least parts of the efforts down to the suppliers. That being said, many suppliers are now in a situation to support their customers' compliance needs, and therefore they have to take action to be compliant with the standards as well. iProcess can guide you through the compliance efforts and help you understand the needs based on UNEC R155 as well as ISO 21434 and Automotive Spice for Cybersecurity for your projects.